It's here. It's here. It's here. For scale, Matling versus Box. Four people could live in there. It's here. Thank God you would like that box. Yes, she would. But it's here. Hi there, guys. Chit Chatot here, and welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another vlog. And uh, it's a very unexpected vlog, not just for you, but for me. <laughs> I was not expecting to record this video today. So I've just finished recording um, the Pokemon, well, the latest Pokemon Ultra Sun, uh, which would have come out before this, uh, this video is coming out. And there was an interruption in that video, and this is why uh, there was an interruption. So if you were curious what I actually got in the mail, this is what it was. And you probably saw a brief clip of a massive special package. I'm not even going to try and show it on camera. It, 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 it'll be like, like I said, probably the B-roll of this video. So, what happened? What is this so-called special package? Well... You're about to find out. It's uh, Pokemon themed, and I'm going to question my life choices. But without further ado, let's go and open the absolutely humongous box um, that is waiting for us downstairs. So, I was dumb. I didn't press record when Matt was sliding it through the door, it, it only just fitted through the door. Yes, Matt Lane. And this is how big the box is. There's Gertie. That's the box. And like I said, I'll probably do like the, 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 this is recorded at all different times. So, yeah. So, I've ordered something a bit different from the Pokemon Center UK. And. Yeah, it's big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna open it. Um, you've probably already heard desktop me saying, you know, a special parcel came today. This is what the special parcel is. And I, I may as well tell you briefly what it is. It's a plush. It says on the plush. It's a plush. They can read. Maybe they might. Maybe they won't read. I don't know. Maybe they won't read. Our house is a mess at the moment because we haven't long got back from the honeymoon. But yeah, I guess we just open it down here because I don't... I'm going to be honest, looking at the stairs, I don't think we're going to get it up the stairs in the box. So I guess we open the box here. But yeah, this is the biggest plush now that I owned, uh, that, that we own. I do have some big plush, which... What is it made of? I have no idea. Vietnam, apparently. Country of origin is Vietnam, apparently. Uh, but yeah, excuse the mess. But my biggest plush were these ones here, which we did a video on them a long time ago. Um, so these are probably one of the biggest plushes. There's like a Pikachu plush we have here. There's an Eevee plush upstairs, but I guess we're just going to open it and compare it to the Eevee plush that we have upstairs that we won. So let's just go with it. Okay. Am I doing the honest? It's a surprise apparently. And then Gertie can have the box because she's itching to have this box. They've wrapped it well. Oh. Right, we're ready. Ever. Oh my god! 
Okay, so this is an Altarian plush. I'll pop the thing on the screen of how big it is. I think it's 37 inches in total. It's a lot of inches. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try and pull this out. Oh look, it's a man moon. Hi. Hi. This is the, the, if this doesn't show how big this box is, it's kind of ridiculous. You're having fun there anyway. Shall we open the the plush up? Shall we open the plush? The plush that came out of said box is right here. Oh my god, mistakes might have been made. <laughs> It's a fluffy cloud bird upright. I don't even, I don't even know. It's so soft. It's so strokeable. Surprised Gertie's not freaking out a bit more. I'm surprised, yeah. Like, it's, it's head things are weird. Can I ride it? Oh yeah, it's sitable. <laughs> it looks a bit spread out now. This is spread out. So yeah, you know like in the anime where I believe Lily has like a ride Altaria? This is what it would look like. Because I think Lily's actually just a tad smaller than me in the anime, the, the sun and moon. This feels weird. I am genuinely impressed with this plush. I can see why. Everyone's raving about this plush. It is insane. It's cute. It's fluffy. Look at the fluffiness of the plush. I've never been able to sit on a plush before. And be quite content. You could probably sleep on the plush you if you lie that yeah, way. Yeah, you could easily sleep on the plush. Like, if I was like, specifically, yeah, okay, I'm kind of an adult. If I was a little kid, I'd be going nuts. I'm going nuts now. Could you imagine? Oh my god, Ataria, let me go. Oh, the wingies, look at the wingies. And we've got a swaddly plush as well, which actually pairs with this, which is a life-size swaddly, so that's interesting. I can fish it. Don't fish the heart, Tari. Oh, heavy. <laughs> he, is, he is a heavy baby boy. Let's, uh, let's go put him upstairs. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! It is pretty much moving a piece of furniture. I haven't even cleared the way for him yet. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh no. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> I 
Um, this is this is great camera work. <laughs> like I said, this was not expected. I had nothing set up or anything. <laughs> Will they get through the door? <laughs> he takes up half the bed. This is him to put into like like I said. I haven't. He, he's going to sit over here. Oh, now he looks very creepy. Hold on, let's get our next biggest plush, which is this one, which is Evie. Evie's got a ride, right? Evie got a ride. I'm just trying to show comparisons. And then we've got over here a life size um, Swablu, which is made of the same, same fluff. Yes, go check on the demon. This is insane. Look how big he is. He's insane. This is the biggest plush ever. Oh my God, what have I done? Oh no, what have I done? I've owned some big plush in my time, but this is just... Oh, he's beautiful. He is, he is a beautiful boy. He's beautiful, beautiful boy. I kind of want to put like Evie now on. This is great. This is fantastic. Oh my God. Well, I've moved him in place now. And I think this is the best configuration I can get because, um, oh, terrible camera angle. This is, yeah. This is slightly bigger than I expected. I knew it would fill this space, but not quite like this. He's insane, but I love him. He is beautiful. This is Pecan. This is beautiful. I love him so much. I can see why Matt said, uh, we probably couldn't have any other jumbos. <laughs> yeah. Do I regret my life decision? No. I am over the moon with this plush. It's amazing. This is officially my reading corner now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna put a cushion behind it and just sit on Artaria and just read. And um, yeah. Insane. Wait, we are back. Um, what did you think, guys? The, the video probably and the camera work wasn't probably the best. It was just like I said, I was not expecting to record that today. Um, it was very unexpected. <laughs> but, oh my god. If that's... It's humongous. It's the biggest plush I own, like I showed briefly of all the other plushies. This won't be the first video on the plushies. I will do a big video on the collection that I own. Like maybe one that's Pokemon and one that's non-Pokemon because I do have, I do mainly have Pokemon plushies but the, I do have other plushies from other games and things like that. So I will go over it. I have a bit of a collection. <laughs> but he is the biggest plush that I own. He's amazing. I love him. He's literally going to live in our bedroom. He, he's literally going to be like my reading corner now. Um, I don't know what Matling thinks of him. Matling is actually next to me as I record this. What, what do you think of uh, the Artaria? He's not going to answer me. Fair enough. Um, so he might hate it in rage of how much space it takes up in the bedroom. I don't know. Um, but yeah, do I question my life decisions? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm not even going to tell you how much that plush was. It was a bit ridiculous, but was it worth every penny? Oh yes, most certainly. I'm a very happy birdie. That, that plush is amazing and I love him so much. The only reason I'm doing a vlog on it is just because I'm generally impressed with, like the packaging was humongous that it was very packaged well. The overall like rating of a plush, 10 out of 10. The size is insane. Well worth the money for what you're getting for a plush if you're really into plush collecting. Like I said, it's the biggest plush I have. I went over the sizes over before and I'll probably quickly again show up the, the website. And he's soft. Like uh, his wings are amazingly soft. <laughs> and like the actual body part 
it, you can position him quite well. I thought he might be a bit lob like sided due to because he's, he's got like because the way Artaria is we have like the main body and then the wings and I had a feeling like that it would just want to fall forward but actually if you just scoop his feet out he will actually sit and he is amazing boy he's the biggest fluffiest boy ever and I love him <laughs> but that's uh, I mean every time I have an Artaria I usually call it peahen or cotton bud if it's a guy normally cotton bud is very cute but yeah i'm doing a lot of erming because like i said this was not planned at all was not expecting this to come today it literally i ordered it about four days ago and i only got the confirmation it was coming um like on its way yesterday i was not expecting it to be on my doorstep today so it came very very quickly would i say the jumbo plush line is worth it if there's a Pokemon that you really like in that line, I believe they've got currently a giant Arcanine. There's a like a, a trainer-sized Mareep as well, which looks really fluffy. There's a Lapras. There's, I think, there's like a, a few others off the top of my head. I know they've added some new ones recently. Anyway, would I recommend the plush? Yes. If you like a fluffy big boy that you want to use as a reading corner slash chair because I can sit on him, yes. Yes, I would. And uh, yeah, that is literally it for this vlog. I'm kind of hyperactive about it because, like I said, was not expecting it. I really like it. I will probably still collect plushes in the future. <laughs> I don't care. I love them too much. I love seeing them. I think they're great. I mean, I've got some of the plushies in the background, as you can see. Um, would I get another Jumbo one? Probably not. Matling would kill me if I got another one. Um, he would be quite upset <laughs> if I got another one because, like, we have a reasonable sized bedroom. I don't think I can fit another one in there. Not really. Uh, like I said, uh, put a link in the description below if you're generally interested in where I got this plush from, uh, which is uh, from the Pokemon Web uh, Pokemon Center UK website. So um, if you're in the UK and interested, there you go. But I will go over again one vlog over all the plushies, all the probably the Pokemon merchandise that I have eventually, because I do have a big collection as well as stuff that. I've made with the 3D printer and things like that that are little props that live in the gaming room now which will be a different video that will be the 3D printing video probably anyway guys if you liked today's video um then please like please subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys know exactly when I'm uploading as for when I am streaming you can follow me at twitch.tv slash chai chat hit the heart you know exactly when I am streaming and um, if you are interested in seeing any other like um, content on the plushies or anything that I've made or anything that I've drawn and things like that, go and check out the Instagram as well. That is the main place to find me. Anyway, guys, I've chatted on enough as per normal and I will see you in the next vlog. But remember, guys, chat on! <laughs>
Just a shape. 